Okay, so what survives nuclear war and nuclear fallout? Why cockroaches and PV amplifiers. <laughs> This is a 1983 PV Studio Pro. I fixed it up for customers, so this one's not for sale on eBay. I just thought it was interesting in case anybody likes to look at cool classic amps. It is cool. It's all solid state. 40 watts output. Um, 150 watts input out of the wall. So not too bad on efficiency. Uh, yeah. clean as it gets, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of gain in this pre-gain channel. I mean, there's a lot, and you can pull it for a bright switch. Uh, three EQs here, we have our low, medium, high, and then pull for thick is almost like a mid-range boost, and that was on at the moment. We'll try it without. <laughs> see how much that really thickens up it just gives a big fat mid and low push even though they put the pull for thick on the high treble knob I can't tell you why they did that but they did so as far as the gain structure goes there is a spring reverb in there it is a legitimate spring reverb but it, it's kind of crappy um, the, the it just doesn't it's not smooth, it's kind of short, and it leaves a sort of an annoying brassy overtone in there. But hey, it is what it is, and that's how they did it in 1983. Um, so if we bring the post back here, that's going to take my main volume down, and then we can start bringing the gain up and see where we break up. Yeah, we're way too loud for our little speaker, so we'll bring our post down to two. Have, that's you know we're starting to get into our breakup territory mind you this is an input number two input two is minus six db so it's actually taking my guitar down six db if i were to come into input one we would get a lot more gain a lot more distortion and i would probably upset the apple cart this guitar has an extremely high output um that's just the nature of the beast so we'll bring in some more gain here and we'll bring our pre or post down just a little bit more just for the sake of the camera. Not enough. So bring some. So we're starting to get crunchy, and then if we wanted to bring in the saturation business, this actually sort of really thickens up how much is being passed on through. So we start to get into a lot more higher higher gain crunchy territory here. So anyway, that's more or less what you have on a PV Studio Pro 40. You can get uh, bright sounds, thick sounds, dark sounds, lots and lots of different sounds all from a single solid state uh, 12 inch speaker solid you know speak single speaker 12 inch solid stating amp and good grief is this thing loud um, I won't say it sounds beautiful when it's loud because quite frankly it gets kind of grainy and solid statey but what I've noticed if anybody owns one of these when you really start to push the saturation in if it starts to get really gritty and there's an annoying top end Usually you can roll that off on the treble and take the edge off of it. But hey, for its time there was uh, nothing quite like it. And again, the Bandits and the Studio Pros and a lot of these old, you know, early 80s, late 70s PV amps are sort of coming back into vogue. Uh, maybe with retro, you know, people. Hey, man, I remember those. I had one of those. And reality is, is if you find one today, it probably still works. It might just need to have a service. This particular amp, after it came in, it had to have all the pots cleaned. 
and it just had to be physically cleaned. It had a lot of dirt and grime and grossness on it, but now it has been cleaned up a lot and it's in good condition and ready to go back to the customer. So just in case anyone was curious about it, I figure if you found this video you were looking for this model amp or at least something. Thanks for watching.